Hello people of the world, it's me, Tails Gaming 24 and today I'm going to be reviewing the Incineroar uh, Evolution Pack. Um, I got this yesterday and I really like it, but before I get this, I'm going to get something really quick. Now, every time if you spend 20 I think it's $20 or more at GameStop, you actually get this promo um, Heatran card from Ultra, Ultra Pri Prism. And... Yeah, I think it's a really good card. Um, I've not really collected the cards recently. I kind of don't collect them anymore. I kind of just have them, you know, as, like, just display items. And I never really look at them either. So, I guess they're just kind of there. But this card is really nice. Um, I really like it. If you want, you could get it. It's going to be all the way through February. Like, when February ends, then they'll no longer have these cards. So, I'm glad I have this because this is, um, this is a rare item. After February, after a while, it'll be a very rare item eventually. Okay, this is a little break, but now let's get on to the actual review, which is this Incineroar. Um, so here's the box. Um, Incineroar, uh, I already opened this. I just put it back in the box so I see how it looks like in the box. I have the Incineroar. This is only at GameStop because it is only at GameStop. It's it's probably going to release like, maybe like a pack with like all three of them. The final starters, um, or like something like that, or singular, like, and then they're probably gonna make like one of those packs, like the, like you know, they have the Kanto Middle Evolution pack. Probably gonna make one with the, the Alolan Middle Evolution pack. Probably make that, and then Lin and you know, it's already out. And yeah, they're making the other starters. So, um, I'm actually gonna show you a bit the really cool pan flip that this thing comes with. Let me put this back a bit. I'm Sorry, Pikachu. Um, this is actually a really cool pamphlet because it has like a lot of really cool things. Actually, let me I'm be right back and I'll open this. Okay, now here's the pan flip. It looks really nice. Um, if I go to the back, which is probably easier to do, you see that we have a bunch of cool things. Like we have two Mimikyu's. We have a Lolan Sandshrew and a Lolan um Bon not not Lolan but Bon Sweet. We have. Cosmog and all these we have like a, a creamy dose and a really cool ditto Pikachu It's kind of out of focus, but a ditto Pikachu, which is really cool. And then we have the starters I think Rowlet's in a new pose because I don't want Rowlet being in that pose So I think this is a new Rowlet. Um, then we have all these guys, right? This 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 um shell dome looks off. I don't know if that's the shiny because it might not be the shiny I don't know what's shiny but then we have to have the articulated figures, and these aren't like the smaller ones. Now we have a Olin Marowak, which is really cool, and then we have, this is the only thing I want probably the most, is this Alolan Raichu figure. It is so cool, it's opposable too. Then we have the middle stage of the starters, obviously we have Toro Cat. Um, then we have all the evolutions, if I didn't show so bad, there you go. All the evolutions, I apologize for the, uh, uh, the blurriness. Then we have a Wobbuffet figure, and that's really cool. Then we have both um, Lycan Rocks. I hope eventually they make a Dusk, but if they don't make a Dusk, may and um, not Dusk, Dusk Lycan Rock. Yeah, Dusk Lycan Rock. You probably could just make a custom out of it. Either way, you probably get another Lycan Rock midday, and then kind of just paint it orange and give it green eyes, because that's really how. The, it's basically it's literally the body. It doesn't even change. It's just this one. It's just midday lichen rock that's orange and green eyes. Now, if we go to the very side here, we have Lunala, like a nice big Lunala figure. We have um, Sogalio, and then we have Ash, and, you know, he's okay. And then we have Decidueye, and if you like Decidueye, there's Decidueye. Then there's Incineroar, which I already have. And then this Primarina, which looks really nice. And I'm really excited for mostly all these figures, but... You know, it, leave in the comments section below which one you're excited for the most. Anyways, um, in the back of this box, or on the side, it's nothing. It's just some information here. In the top, there's also nothing. Just, like, the the thing that, like, this makes this hang on the shelves and the thing. And the, oh, gosh, I opened it. <laughs> but uh, um, there's the stuff that makes it, like, um, hang on, like, the shelves and stuff. And then on the back, it says... Evolve your Pokemon and enter the battle. And then, or all of them are in the languages. And then we see a picture. It shows Litten, 
rolling into Torcat, which Torcat falls into Incineroar. And then at the very bottom, there's also look for, and then it shows the Charmander with the Pokeball and the Timer Ball and the belt. And then we have Ash with Pikachu. And then we have Pikachu and a Pokeball and the Midday like a not figure. Okay, now I'll be right back as I open the box. I know there's a lot of be right backs, but this time it's probably going to be the final one. Now up here they are all in their glory. I apologize you can't see very well because of the lighting off of my Pikachu lamp is dead. Let me see if I can quickly turn this thing on. Yep, this thing's dead. Okay, I'll probably replace the batteries later, but right now we just have a big Pikachu in the background. Um... Start with uh, Litten, because Litten's the smallest one. We're going to go through each evolution. Now, if we get to closer to the light, which might help or might make it worse, I can't tell. But, see Litten, it looks really nice. Um, it might hard to see, um, but this Litten looks really nice. I love this Litten. I think it's great. Um, Litten is, like, very nice, but his legs are actually not even... These front legs are, like, not even, like... They're, like, one big... Um, bulk of plastic that it was molded you can see the legs the little stripes now the information's right here i think right no no it's right here right here the information's right here and then the tail really nice and loose but i like it um it's not like gonna fall off now this litten is probably the most or the worst one when it comes to standing up it didn't ever okay well, come on okay like i typically have a kind of a hard time like like, if I play with this, it might fall, but next one we're going to do is Toro Cat, and Toro Cat is actually really nice. I like this, because the weird thing is that this one's really matte, which I like. It's like, because that's a different red than the other two. This one is like more of like a lighter orangey red, while the other two have like a just straight up red. I may not tell because of the light there, but I, I don't know, because um, they're really light, the nice light, um, the fire orb on his like um, chest is like really nice, and he has posability, which is good because Litten didn't have posability. Now, what you could do is you could move his head, like if I could do it with one hand, it's probably hard. Full 360 around. You could also move each leg. So uh, and right now we have one. So then, so we have like two. Oh gosh, his tail. Two, three, four, five. And then his tail can move on a ball drain. Six. So I think we have like six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Okay. So um, the tail, while I was playing with this yesterday, has a problem. And it tends to fall over, which is pretty bad. But, you know, it, it's still a good tail. And it's still a good figure. And the tail's really nice detail-wise. Now let's move on to the final stage. And my probably the reason I got this pack we put Litten stay there, okay. So we have Incineroar, right? I'm ecstatic about this thing. I never thought they'll ever make, like, a pack of fully articulatable, like, starters from, like, a little but they, they did, and I'm so happy that they did. Now, this thing has a lot of articulation. Now, oh gosh, this thing's gonna fall. It, look at his legs, are really thin, so that's why he might fall over occasionally. I use his tail as a balance, but if you didn't use his tail, it's still fine. It's not going to really fall over much. But, um, uh, what was it? Okay, so this figure is really nice, detail-wise. Like, its details are really nice, and the tail sculpt's really nice. Everything about this figure is just great. Um, the eyes as well. Okay, I don't know if the camera could focus. I need to clean the camera, probably. There you go. Nope, it's still not out of focus. Come on. Focus. Okay. Well, I can't really focus, but his eyes are green and really nicely detailed. I apologize because this camera isn't very good. It's actually really, like, it's kind of, it's a Samsung 6, which is really weird because it's a new, it's not extremely new, but it's kind of a new phone. You know, it's weird how it's blurry, but it's because it's really used and the crystal on this thing's, like, broken, so that's why. Um, it probably is out of focus because I actually, like, the crystals on here are, like, off. Okay, sorry for getting out of topic, but articulation-wise, this guy's really good. Now, I can't show you with his head on, so I'm actually going to... Uh, okay, this is probably a little hard to do on camera, but you can pop out his head. See his little thing? Um, so to show you better, 
You can put this back on because of ball joint. But in the head, he can go like this. Like his head can go up and down. And then, you know, it's a ball joint, so it can move around, stuff like that. Then we have his arm, which can um, go out and then go back in. You can also move up and also can move down if, okay, into his back. I apologize I'm having a hard time doing this as I'm only using one hand. Um, and I don't have a stand, and this is a very thin phone, so, you know, it's probably having a hard time. Now, you can move his arms like this, right? And then you can, like, also twist them around. I can, I'm not counting this one because it probably has too much articulation for me to count. Actually, I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to put back his head because he kind of looks really creepy. I'll be right I'm sorry, I said I would not do any more, uh, um, cutbacks, but I'm back. Um, so, he can move by the... But the, like the, this, I don't know what you call this, the chest. I can't do it right now, but like, because it's extremely hard to do. I can only do it like two hands. But you can move the chest. If I'm gonna try propping this down here, I have to use like my legs because I'm very unprofessional. But you can you could do like this, like see, it like pivots. I think that's pivoting, right? It can't twist around it, which is pretty bad because you can't like it's not like a waist joint it's just a it's just a up and down pivot which is fine but you know it's just a little bothersome now this is probably a better way to do it but um it's really uncomfortable but still um now his legs he can move it's like a ball joint here so i can move like full around you know so like that and then his knees jointed and it can twist around and his legs also his little ankle can move. Now if we go to the back, the tail can move. Ooh. It sounds like a crank or something. I like to play with it. Like it's like a crank. But yeah, you can also take this off. Now, there's a really funny thing I like to do with this, and I want to show you guys. Um, So, uh, I'm going to take out his Toro Cat. Since he has a ball joint on his head as well, he can also take off his head. So it's a really funny thing I like to do. I want to show you guys because it's really funny. <sighs> if I could get this off, like Tor Cats is a little hard to get them in Cinemar. There you go, I got it off. Okay, now this is gonna be the hard part, putting it on. Now <laughs> I'll start with Tor Cats and Incineroar's head on. Now because this one's a lot easier to do than um than, than Incineroar's head because it's like a lot like you know um you know it's a lot smaller you know not as hard. Now, you see this, and then you plug it in. It's the same size. I wanted to do the tails as well, but the tail, like, they're different sizes. <laughs> now he's, like, a really angry. Oh, it looks really funny. A little baldy. And then if I take, um, let me readjust again. Sorry, I apologize for these constant, like, like readjustments. But, like, I can't do this without something to hold me. Phone. <laughs> My phone, I mean. Not me phone. Now, if I could plug this in because it's kind of hard to do but um now you have very buff boy um you have buff boy um Tora cat i'm sorry for me that as well it's just something i like to do now before i run out of time i will have to show you how these guys look and how great they are i think these are really good figures and i love them um, the greatness and i also dropped um incineroar I know you can't see right now, but I'm trying to fix up the display. And Litten is being an annoyance. Litten. Oh my gosh. Tor Toro Cat was in the way. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Okay, they, um, now I need to fix Incineroar's tail. So that he stands. Oh, yeah, boys. Okay, I'm sorry, I was interrupted, but it's fine, um, of course he falls, um, um, if I put him back here, um, yeah, he's always a really good figure, and I like this, and I think, I don't know if I have my account verified, but if I do, it's a good thing, because I'm close to the 15 minute mark, now, I'm really scared, and I'm actually going to put this down, and I'm going to have to say, goodbye, guys! Guys, wait. You know, goodbye, guys. Uh, enjoy your day. It's Tales Gaming. So